Thanks, Carol. I'm joined by Keith Tozer, former Milwaukee Wave coach, current head coach of the U.S. National Men's Futsal Team. Thanks a lot for coming in. That's great to be here. Exciting times, isn't it? Absolutely. So let's talk about the World Cup, first of all. Yep. What are the U.S. chances of advancing out of that first round? Well, surely the game on uh, Monday against Ghana will definitely give us uh, a good indication what direction we're going to go into. Yeah. You know, Ghana's knocked us out, really, the last two world championships. and. Uh, but this time, you know, uh, we just played Nigeria. I thought we played quite well, probably our best game recently, uh, and a nice victory over Nigeria. Similar styles as, as Ghana, very athletic, very fast. Um, so, you know, if we can get a point or three, Mike, in that first game, then, of course, the next game will be Portugal, which will be difficult. But it definitely gives us a big uh, leap forward. Yeah, head coach left uh, Landon Donovan off the squad. Surprised a lot of people. Good idea, bad idea. Well, you know, being a, being a coach myself, you know, I, I don't second guess other coaches, and especially our national team uh, outdoor coach, and he must have had his reasons yeah. for it. And Donovan's been a great player. You know, he just broke the record in Major League Soccer. He's probably been the best American player we've had in the history of, of the national team. So for whatever reason, uh, he's not going to be there, but uh, the rest of the lads are going to have to pick up and go forward. Coach Klinsman uh, set the bar low, saying that he wasn't expecting great things out of this tournament. You are the master motivator. <laughs> Was he motivating his players? Was he setting expectations low for the fans what are your what's your take on that? no I think what he's done is he's taken some pressure off the players yeah. I think oh. uh, you know behind closed doors he's saying you know gentlemen I, I think we can do this uh, but obviously to come out publicly and say we're going to beat Ghana then Portugal and then Germany and go through the group I, I think would be too much uh, pressure on him I really think this is probably the best lineup the best uh, group of uh, 23 players we've had in a long long time they're playing extremely well three victories uh, in a row first time yeah. going into a World Cup I think they're feeling good but I think he Try to make you know a little pressure off him, but behind closed doors, he's saying, "Okay, we can do this thing." Yeah, as we mentioned at the outset, uh, Keith is the head coach national men's futsal team. Big tournament in town, big game tomorrow night. Tell us about that. Well, it's very exciting. You know, uh, futsal has grown across the world. Uh, it's uh, the FIFA game. Uh, there's professional leagues all around, and. We haven't played a home game up on the road for 10 years. This is our first home match on U.S. soil in, in 10 years. We play France tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the Kern Center. It's free, so come on down to the Kern Center Great. at MSOE. And then Saturday, we play them again at 7 p.m. at the Kern Center. Big futsal festival. It's a party. Uh, Peroni, Miller Stage on one end, Red Bull, wow. uh, Ray, Zion, Dental. Legend on the field. We got 35 sponsors going to be down there. People can watch three World Cup games: 11:30, 2:30, and 5:30. Then head up into the current center. Other than Brazil, we've got our own little minor soccer uh, World Center universe here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. We're uh, we're very excited about it. And you've got a lot of summer camps coming up this summer. Tell us all about that. Well, it started Academy. The Academy uh, starts on Monday. It's in Brookfield. Uh, so thank you to Brookfield Soccer Association, Art Kramer, out there. So we're going to be out there and. Just go to the website, ketozersoccer.com, and you can see all of our other sites. But uh, first and foremost, national team here, World Cup kicking off. Brazil versus Croatia should be a wild game tomorrow. Do you have a favorite in the tournament overall? I, again, as I said prior, <laughs> as I said prior to the show, my heart is with U.S. Yeah. There's no question about it. You know, Brazil in Brazil is going to be tough. Yep, if it was in Germany. Sure. I might lean toward Germany, yeah. and if it was in Spain, I might lead towards Spain. Yeah. So it's going to be a tough, a, a tough World Cup, but exciting. Hard to beat the hometown team for sure. Keith Tozer, always good to see you. Thanks Great a lot for you, coming Mike. in.